Okay, my hope here is that uh, by the time we finish this series, you'll have a much clearer, simpler view of the book of Revelation. Okay, so let's start. Revelation 2. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus, right? And uh, before we get started here, um, this is the geographical area that we're speaking of. I think you'll probably find most, if not all, the churches in this area. Um, I don't know exactly where these churches were, but this is the general area, so let us continue. These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden sticks. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars, and hast borne, and hast patience, and for my name's sake has labored, and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast less left their, thy first love. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of thy place, out of his place, except thou repent. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolantes, which I also hate. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm saying this word right, but uh, I've often wondered, what is the deeds of the Nicolantes? Um, and, uh, you know, you can speculate, really, because... Um, I don't know that there's any way to definitively say what it is. I think it's just assumed that um, that these uh, were essentially heretics, and uh, they were, uh, and I would imagine that they were holding people to the law and forbidding people and uh, being too demanding, if you will, and not graceful, but. I mean, we could speculate, right? He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcome, I will give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. And unto the angel of the church in Smyrna, right? These things saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works, and tribulation, and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews, and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Clearly this is, uh, if we were to apply this to modern day, this would be the people who practice Judaism. All right, it's people that, uh, they say they are Jews, but they reject Jesus Christ. And, uh, you know, the word synagogue should be a big clue for that. And uh, so moving on. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Okay. And just to, uh, um, just to clarify here, this does not at all conflict everlasting life, the doctrine of Jesus Christ, or the gospel of Jesus Christ, okay? He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcome shall not be hurt of the second death. All right, so how do you overcome? All right, that would be the big question. How do you overcome? Um, and, you know, how do you uh, remain in the faith? Okay, so uh, if Jesus Christ is in you, you are saved, you are born of God, and no matter what happens, nothing can take that away. So you will automatically overcome because Jesus has already overcome. All right, continuing. And to the angel of the church in Pergamos write, These things saith he which has the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's sea is, and thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith. Even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, 
who was slain among you, where Satan dwells. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaites, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knows, saving he that receiveth. Okay, so you're starting to notice a pattern here. The hidden manna, the tree of life, and so forth. This is all a reference to the same thing. That's everlasting life. Okay. Unto the angel of the church in Thyatira, write, These things saith the Son of God, who has eyes like unto the flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. I know thy works, and charity, and service, and faith, and thy patience, and thy works, and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee. Because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calls herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed to idols. And I gave her a space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he which searches the reins and hearts and will give unto every one of you according to your works. But unto you I say, and unto the rest of Thyatira, as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depths of Satan as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden, but that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. And I will give him the morning star. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Okay, so there's we're seeing this a common theme here, and I think people, you know, have a tendency to think of these as different things, but they are not different things. They are all related to the same thing, and that is everlasting life. Don't lose sight of that. Okay?